Punk, you son of a bitch. Up, bloody nerd again. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And today's Manga Nerd and I reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 699. So before I get into this recap and my reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Also, because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a high speed struggle train heading into chaos. And it's getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter was goddamn epic for several reasons. One, you had Conky with his feet up on the table, sitting across from, say, the Emperor of Kin. And. You know, he's just taking all this shit from Say, and he don't give a fuck, to be honest. Marin's freaking the fuck out, but Marin, you know, made some really good points. He did. But there's also, you know, the fact that they needed to send Zhao a fucking message. You know, a skull for a skull, a head for a head. And, um, to, you know, basically say, you ain't fucking with us here, right, Kitty? They ain't fucking with us, right, Kitty? Mm. And I don't know what the fuck Say is thinking that this invasion is just gonna be all sunshine and rainbows and daisies. Because, as Conky said at the end of the chapter, this, the blood and shit that's happening here, this massacre, is also on, and ultimately on, Say's hands because he was the one that ordered this invasion. And you're going to punish Conky for this? I just I don't get it. I don't get what you're thinking, Say. I really don't. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And of course, Conky throws <laughs> his feet on the table. I love you, Conky. I do. I know, kitties. Here we go. You're the one who started this invasion, so the, you're the one who has the most blood on his hands in this world, King of Kin. Ooh, a fearless rebuttal. And this chapter is titled The Number of Decapitated Heads. All right, let's see. Everyone's like, whoa, did he just say that? That's right, you started this war, so their blood is on your hands too. The boss doesn't have to take this crap from you. Um, you've caused the most deaths. Thank you. Okay, um. Silence. What? <laughs> oh, look at the look on Cocky's face. I'm not here to go along with your childish sophisteries. How is this childish sophisteries? How? He's not lying. Oh, don't dismiss it as sophistry. You killed way more than a few hundred thousand. This is about the prisoners. I don't remember ordering you to massacre them. Even if you didn't, this is just part of the consequences of your war. Oh! Right, that's exactly why I'm here to pass a sentence. So I take all the blame and you get to judge me? <laughs> Dude. As the instigator of this... Um, as the instigator of the war, it's my responsibility to judge your reckless actions, and I bear an even greater responsibility to abolish all six states. Pfft, truly a bloody king. I'm a cute puppy compared to you! <laughs> That's obvious. It's pre precisely because of soldiers' deaths that we must draw an absolute line when executing civilians and prisoners. Um, we do not intend to have another, um, Haku oh my god. We do not intend to have another Hakuki among our six great generals. Hakuki, one of the six great generals who uh, buried um, 400,000 prisoners at Chue? Hmm. That massacre shook all of China. Well, you... That's the point! That's the point Kanki is trying to make with this! He's trying to send a message to Zhao to not fuck with him. That, and he's saying as well, look, bitch... This motherfucker killed several, he, those motherfuckers killed a shit ton of my men. I'm avenging them. And not only that, he, they, this motherfucker here cut, uh, cut and sliced and butchered my best friend, my bro, and put him in a chest. Like, what do you want him to do? Do you not care about your own soldiers, say? Peace. The goddamn. Well, say don't know that shit. Well, 
You know what? Rido aside, say you know about all these deaths. You do. You should be want thinking about that for one thing. The second thing is, it's like, motherfucker, you should want to care about all the soldiers that have died and you know what these motherfuckers are capable of. You should be, you should know what the situation is like in Zhao right now. And that motherfucker doesn't care. He does not care. He is merciless as fuck. Why do you, why? Why? They do not want to play fair. This is war. They don't give a fuck. Jesus. That massacre shook all of China. The people of Zhao have borne a deep hatred for us ever since then. Their children are raised bitter against us, and resentment only grows from there. Yeah. Even if we conquer the states, we will not be able to rule them if we commit these horrible deeds. I, I'm sorry, I have to say this, because this is going to irritate me. Look at Israel, okay? Israel treats, treats uh, contrary to what the media tells you, Israel treats the Palestinians a lot better than uh, Hamas does. Hamas treats them like shit. Hamas is the one that's um, uh, the, basically uh, the ruling party over there in the West Bank. And they send out all this propaganda, which the um, MSM basically says. And... These motherfuckers hate us. They hate my peoples. They do. Even though they treat them a lot better, they treat the people a lot better. And these and the poor Palestinians, they're raised to uh, to hate us and want to kill us. And they, they um they're raised to believe it's an honor to go kill themselves to and to bomb um uh Israelis. That's what it is, that, and that's what this is just making me think of. That's why I bring this up. It's just, oh, it just irritates the shit out of me. Your actions make me recall the evil sins committed uh, committed at Kuwait. Yeah, and what about it? God, this also makes me think of Attack on Titan. It does. If we do not unite the other states after this war, everything we did up until now will have been for nothing. And let, just laying back and letting Zhao just fuck us up and show because we're soft as hell. What does that do? We don't want to negotiate with this motherfucker that is in Zhao right now. I don't think the people of Zhao like this asshole anyway. The people in Zhao will love that this bitch is gone. God, that cannot happen. Hold on. Are you serious? Putting massacre aside, invading their homes, killaging, pillaging, after all that, you want to break bread with them? You seriously believe that's going to happen? Thank you! Thank you, Kaki! I fucking love you! Thank you! I don't know what fairy tale world saying is living in right now, but that's not how it is. I do. <laughs> hey, um, Kokuo, uh huh? What do you think? You think we can be buddies with Sal? In your dreams? Oh my god! Let's see. In your dreams? What did he say? They chopped right out of bits piece by piece while he was still breathing. They're the ones who started this. Even when we defeat Sao, I refuse to live alongside them. I'd rather kill every single last one of them! You... Kokuo! Well, I understand that it is a difficult path, but even so, someday it will. It's not about it being difficult. Yeah, we could unite the states, end all wars, and live happily ever after, but humans will never let that happen, ever! Oh my god! You expect too much of humans, king of kin. Yes, I do. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I believe and have hope for people. I am king of- I am a king who will go through any hardship to find the shortest path to peace to this era of warring states. Unlike you who doesn't do anything and turn to hopelessness. Hopelessness? No, my king. What is it? Hmm? So, what's the verdict? My fate? Are you gonna take my head or not? Oh my god! If you do, you'll die here too. Your revered path of blood will end here. Though that might not be- that might be in, uh, everybody's best interest, Cuckoo. 
I came here to take your head if you didn't have any uh, didn't have any reason for your actions, but hearing Marin's explanation is enough to save you from punishment. Yeah. He oh she got a sheath your sword. Oh my god! <laughs> really? I thought Marin's excuse was pretty at mass! Boss! There's one more reason why I'm pardoning you. Your accomplishment in crushing Kochow. I definitely didn't think the Conky army alone would be able to take down the uh, Zhao head uh, headquarters of Zhao's commander-in-chief. Why do these motherfuckers keep underestimating Conky? Oh my gosh, okay. Our own commander-in-chief, uh, Shoei Khan, deemed your success to be immeasurably important. After considering all the these details, I've decided to pardon you. Hm. You sure it's okay to leave me as one of the six great generals? If you want, I'll return it, uh, that shiny golden necklace. The si strength of the six great generals is essential to conquering all six states. That hasn't changed. The necklace will remain in your care for now. However, engrave this in your hearts. The next time you do something so reckless, we won't have a, a civil discussion. Your head will roll before you can say a word. And next, um, and next time, uh... Remember this, Conky, and next time, if you put your feet up on a table like that in front of the king, I'll cut them off. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're saved. Ooh, originally, Kin's uh, laws of war dictated that soldiers could take severed heads of the uh, enemy from battlefields and exchange them for rewards, which is likely why beheadings were tallied in Kin's records of, with such detail. However, in Kin's records of uh, the Grand Historian, the 100,000 uh, heads ta uh, taken by Conky were omitted from history. What are you What are you doing here, Say? Ooh! Shin! <laughs> okay, I want to go back. I, I had to finish this chapter before we discussed something that I really love that Conky said. Because I find that this part of the conversation between Conky and Shin so important. Um, and this is right here. Um, where is it? Are you serious? Putting massacre aside, invading their homes, killing, pillaging. After all that, you want to break bread with them? You seriously believe that's going to happen? I do. <laughs> Um, hey, Kokuo, what do you think? You think we could be buddies with Zhao? In your dreams. What did you say? They chopped Raido to bits, piece by piece, while he was still breathing. They're the ones who started this. Even if we de defeat Zhao, I refuse to live alongside them. I'd rather kill every single last one of them. You, Kokuo, I understand that it is a difficult path, but even so, someday it will... Oh, it's not about being difficult. Yeah, we could unite the states, end all wars, and live ha happily ever after. But humans will never let that happen. Ever. You expect too much of humans, King of Kin. Yes, I do. What's wrong with that? And then I think I... Uh... Yeah, this right here. I'm going to finish this and then I'll give you my thoughts. I believe and have hope for people. I'm a king who will go through any hardship to find the shortest path to peace to this era of warring states. Unlike you who doesn't do anything and turn to hopelessness. Dude, I'm, and like, and they're, Coco's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What makes you think that Cocky meant this? I don't think he meant this. He's just, he, like, this is the thing. And this is what I wanted to get at from this. This is like the assumption of the mother, uh, assumption is the mother of all fuck ups and like the um, black and white extremes here. Cause we see this a lot. Like if it can't be one extreme, it has to be the other. And, and that goes for uh, Kokoro as well. But because things are not black and white. No, there's a gray area. And I think that's what Konki was trying to get at with this. You, ex um, which is, uh, yeah, we could unite the states, end all wars, and live happily ever after, but humans will never let that happen, ever. Again, and unite the states, end all wars. Not this war, and all wars he's talking about. Fucking Say didn't listen. You did not listen, Say. You did not listen to what Kon Konki was uh, specifying. And... I really, I love that. I, Conky's basically saying to say, look, dude, it's not going to happen. Human nature will not allow that to happen because whether you like it or not, people are always going to find a reason to fight. It's not just, it's not just um, limited to, he's not just talking about um, it, 
in China as well. He's talking about, you know, enemies outside of the country too. He's talking about like the Mongols and shit. So it's more than just that. It's he Conky is looking at the bigger picture. Whereas Say, and to an extent I understand what Say is talking about. Say is more focused on the smaller picture where he's focused on China and, you know, all that. Say is not looking at the bigger picture. Again, understandable. Very understandable. So I completely understand where um, where both Conky and Say are coming from, especially when with Say right here saying, yes, I do. What's wrong with that? Sure. What's wrong with wanting to, to dream? Sure. Why not? I believe and have, have hope for people. I'm a king who will go through any hardship to find the shortest path to peace to this era of warring states. That's a huge problem, though. That's a red flag because sometimes the shortest path it is not, uh, yeah, you could try and find the shortest path, and it, it, that's a great dream to have, but especially with something like this, no, you have to be very meticulous with, uni with um, unifying the country. You got to be very meticulous and very strategic, and I think, and... Finding the shortest path to peace is a great dream to have and going through the heart. That's very noble. You want to go through the hardship, but going through the hardship meaning means accepting all the deaths that come with it. It does. But it also means you got to accept the hatred that's going to be coming your way. Unlike you who doesn't do anything and turns to hopelessness. How does, and going back to this, how does being realistic mean hopelessness? Bro, like, say you are being so ridiculous. I don't know what, like, delusion you're drinking, but you are drunk on some really good, like, military delusion. <laughs> military great delusion, my dude. Because Conky is not being, he's being more realistic than anything else. He's trying to get, he's been on the ground longer than, than, than you have. It's kind of, again, this is kind of like the fight that Shin, um, uh, that Shin was dealing with. It ex actually, it's exactly like the conversation that Shin had like a while ago. It gets, um, it gets the, uh, oh my God, it gets the other general. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but you know who I'm talking about. It's exactly like that. It's exactly like the conversation. You, it, you've got to freaking accept it. Well, you got to think about it. Accept it. Now you can fight all you want, but it's just a reality of things. I hit, that's why, like, when Cocky's like, hopelessness? Dude, reality is hopelessness? Okay, whatever, buddy. I love it. He's like, hopelessness? I think it's say going hopelessness, no. And I hopefully it's say realizing, like, no, this is the reality of things. Hopefully that was Say thinking that, because Cocky looks pissed. He's like, you bitch, you're really saying this to me? But like the verdict and everything, I loved it. I loved the verdict. I thought that was great. And I love that Cocky is like, that merits shit was half-assed. <laughs> um, but uh, the other thing uh, I have to uh, bring up is this, I definitely didn't think the Conky army alone would be able to take down the uh, headquarters of uh, uh, Zao's commander-in-chief. Like, why, like, why are you assholes fucking just underestimating Conky? Especially you, Say. You're the one that made him a general of the heavens. You're a dumbass. You, like, Conky's looking at you like, are you fucking for real? <laughs> Conky is just like, I think he's just insulted. That face, that look on Kaki's face is like, excuse me, are you fucking for real? You're insulting the shit out of me. First, you're telling me that I'm, that I'm delusional. And then when you're like straight up project, that's what it is. Say is straight up projecting, in a way projecting, saying that, um, that he isn't the one delusional, that that Kaki is delusional. And then this shit, like, you're like straight up insulting him. <laughs> and that's why Cocky is just like, well, because I don't have the same ideals as you do that. Uh, is it, are you sure it's okay that I'm still at a six generals? 
Yeah, Kitty knows! Right, Zeno? I know, I know, Kitty. We'll play fetch in a sec. Um... Dude, I lo I still love that that safe like dude. Next time this happens though, I'm gonna fuck you off. <laughs> I do like this too. Remember this, cocky. <laughs> and next time you put your feet up on a table like that in front of the king, I'll cut them off. <laughs> dude, that was fucking epic. But man, uh, cocky ain't having any of this shit. He's not. He's not, but I do like this as well, that the heads um, of enemies in the battlefield could be exchanged uh, for rewards. Which is likely why the headings were tallied in the Kin's records with such details. But damn, it shows you that Say is just fucking mad. He is mad. But dude, Say, I'm sorry. You, you have this, you have this, like, um... You have this, uh, oh my god, this optimistic mentality. I, I just don't know if he really understands. Like, yeah, he may have been told the situation up in Zao, but I don't think he really comprehends the situation. And with with motherfuckers like in Zao, um, you have to show them strength. You have to show them that you ain't weak as shit. You have to show them. That's why I'm like, Conky is playing 40 chess while you motherfuckers are playing checkers. He ain't stupid. Even Ozen knows this. Ozen said that Conky is insane, sure, but Ozen knows what's up. And I think the other thing that I have to point out is as soon as Say heard about the shit with Rido, I think he totally, he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I still stand by what I said last week. It's just, I don't understand how Say is getting all sentimental and caring about Zhao's troops but not punish thinking about punishing Conky for all the fucking troops, uh, Kin's troops that, you know, that died, that Conky set to die. I, I would be more pissed about that. Yeah, I know you want to break bread and all that shit. Fine. But let's be real. Zhao, I, I'm telling you, Zhao would be so much happier without that motherfucker up in Zhao. And you got to wonder if Conky is also thinking about the fact that this, what this does is make that asshole up in Zhao look really bad. And the people um, want to do another coup d'etat and get more support for a coup d'etat. That's what it seems like to me. I'm really curious what you guys think. It really makes you kind of think that maybe the people of Zao would will support working with Kin to overthrow that fucker up in up in the capital of Zao. I wonder again, I wonder if this is what Conky's thinking. I may be overestimating Conky in some regard, but I I could I'm curious. I'm curious what you guys think in regards to that. Do you guys think that's what like Conky and maybe even to an ex Maybe, you know what, maybe Osin, because remember what Osin said. Osin said Conky was fucking insane. So what, Os what Conky was doing was insane, and I know he was talking about the, the actual strategy itself, but the massacre as well, as soon as, I, I really want to know what Osin's thinking. After Osin finds out about the massacre, I want to know what he's thinking too. I do, because let's be real. I would think that Osin would do the same thing. I want to know, do you guys think that Osin would do the same thing that Conky did? Because remember, Conky came up under Osin. I'm telling you, he would. I think Osin would. The old Osin would. The new Osin, not so much. But the old Osin? Oh, you best believe he would have done that shit. You know it. Anyways, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Um, do you guys agree with me that, um, that Say definitely needed to be called out for this shit? And that, that, and that Conky, do you think Conky not only felt insulted, but that Conky is giving this look, this, like, like, kind of, like, piss, that, this pissed off look, because he's kind of concerned about if Say can handle the reality of what's going on, like the bigger picture of what's going on, because, like, because uh, again, like, Conky's playing 40 chess. He's thinking about the bigger picture of what happens after the unification. 
at, like when you because you're not stopping all wars because you have to deal with you know the um with the bordering countries so curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigans inc if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so i can keep bringing you more kingdom content there's a few ways you could do that donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch discord friend me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later bye